Hi, everybody. This is Joe Broncato, the Air Gun Scientist, talking to you from the Skunk Works Lab at Top Gun Dash Air Guns. Well, today's gun is the Zabroya. Uh, the latest and greatest from the Zabroya is their flagship Sapsan, which means, I think, like a peregrine falcon. It's some bird of prey, and I think it's the peregrine. Uh, enough with the names. Let's talk about the Zabroya band, brand. If you've watched any of the Shooter 1721, a.k.a. Rick Ream videos, you know that these guns are just dead nuts accurate. Uh, he's got a video where he has a balloon at 75 yards with a playing card on edge, and he's shooting the playing card off edge or on edge with a Zabroya. Why? Well, their in-house ba barrels are just phenomenally uh, accurate. They control the tolerances because they're made at Zabroya. A lot of people will say, well, yeah, but Rick's a great shot. No, he's a fantastically great shot. But you're only as good as your weakest link. And if his gun can't perform as well as he is, you're not going to hit that card on edge. So hats off to Rick, buddy. Hats off to Zabroya for making a great gun to do it. So speaking of barrels, let's talk about the gun. This is the model Sapsan S. S stands for suppressed. It comes with an additional suppressor. Now from here on back, they changed. This is the newer generation. Uh, this is the second model of Sapsans. This is now fully shrouded, OK? Up to about here is the barrel. And then this has a suppressor in here. And then it comes with this suppressor at no additional cost. Now, we originally didn't know that. And we didn't open the box all the way. And we were putting a koi on it. Uh, and there, that's $145, the koi. But then we found the suppressors inside. And they're, they're just as quiet. So you get that for free with the rifle, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. So 450 millimeter barrel, threaded half inch 20, can take a Donnie, or excuse me, can take, a, can take the standard suppressor that comes with it, or you could just keep it with the cap on it and not put anything on it. It's still pretty quiet. It's tolerable. Um, barrels, 450 millimeter, 550 millimeter for either 22 or 25, and you can change calibers like that quite easily. We'll do that in another video to show you how to do that. But the barrels are interchangeable for only like $199. So that's a pretty good savings. Let's go down uh, and give you all the specifics. So we have a 450 or a 550 millimeter barrel. The air tube is 300 cc's, which is a good size air tube. But normally, you can only fill a gun up to 250 and maybe get like 30 or 40 shots. This, if you want, you can overfill it or not overfill it. It's designed to be filled to 300 bar, which is like almost 4,500, OK? It's over 4,000 PSI. And that will give you like 50 shots, OK? And you don't have to fill it to 300 bar, but you can. And the nice thing about that, too, is you can tether to it. Just open up your tank, hook it up to the fill port, and you don't have to worry about regulating it. Just let the regulator in the gun take care of everything. So the gun, speaking of the fill port, the gun has a fill port right there. You just stick the probe in there. Um, and we're kind of digging on that because it's, it, it stays clean. And, uh, it's, and there, while we're there, we might as well look at the safety. There's the safety right there. And that's an improvement over the uh, earlier version, which did not even have a safety. But I always said the safety's between your ears. You don't load the gun until you're ready. Ah, speaking about loading the gun, so let's talk about that. So we all know when you cock a gun, watch this back here. Let's get a, a, a zoom in. Get from here to here, if you can. When you, when you cock the gun, you, you may or may not have seen that move, OK? And we'll fire it. Here, we'll fire it just to make sure. OK, now, watch back here when you cock it. No big deal. They all do this when you cock a gun. Can you see that a little bit so that you can kind of see this part rotate? Now, watch. It rotates, OK? But here's what I want to show you. So you're walking through the woods. Back up a little bit so you can look at my hand and the magazine at the same time. So you're walking down the woods. Been doing this a million times, rabbit hunting recently. And you don't remember if you cocked the gun or not. And you do this. Well, watch what happens when I cock the gun. Absolutely nothing. Because I haven't fired the gun yet. All Zabroria models are anti-double feed, which means you can cock this all day long. It won't reload until you fire the, tip, uh, fire, the, uh, fire the gun. So I'll fire it. Now I'll show it to you. Now it'll move. But if I do it again, it doesn't move. So that's a really nice feature. You know, I've got a lot of guns in this place that I like. I mean, I sell some high-end guns. And Zabroya's right up there with them in the accuracy and in the features of not, well, 
My highest end guns don't have that feature of not being double loadable. Or not, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. It doesn't double load. And that's a big deal for me because I have had a number of times this week while I'm hunting double loaded or didn't load. Because I'm afraid of double loading, I won't load it. Other times I've double loaded it. So I like that feature a lot, especially for old people like me who CRS can't remember stuff. Anyway, enough on that. Other features of the gun. Uh, Picatinny rail, which allows you to mount most uh, 30 and 34 mil. This is a 34 millimeter Titan. And you know what? Normally I'd say that's a pretty decent scope. Well, that's a pretty decent scope on a pretty decent gun. This gun deserves something in the, uh, in the element range. The least I would put on it would be an element uh, helix. I went and put a Titan on this one. Uh, it's just, I like the 5 to 25 of the Titan. The light gathering capability of it is fantastic. It's like the best, the best bang for the buck. Uh, I, and I'm not going to get onto an element Titan sales pitch right now. Um, I'll do that in another video. But it is a good complement to all the guns we've had. Uh, we've, had we've put them on our uh, impacts. We've put them on our ore guns. Uh, and we're thrilled with the Titan. And all our customers are as well. It, it just about a Titan goes out with every gun. What else about this gun can we talk about? Let's see, we have the safety that they put on since this is the Model 2, like the Gen 2. Ah, all of them come with uh, this little doodad here. What that is, is a, um, a little sling swivel that you can put in here. And then when you do, you, you, uh, you stick your Allen wrench in here. And then those four uh, balls will expand and then it doesn't come out. And then you can do one of two things. You can either put a sling swivel on it, or I mean a sling, or with this little doodad here that we uh, also have, you can put on a nice Atlas bipod or an AccuTac bipod. We've got them all in stock. Uh, and then you have yourself a nice, nice little gun with a uh, bipod on it. Nice light, nice light, bot, nice light bipod. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I think that's about everything I can tell you. Ah, yes. How many shots in 25 caliber? Eight shots, you get two magazines, okay? And they're quality magazines. And fortunately, they're not like crazy price. They're, they're very affordable. You know, like some of these magazines are like 60, 70, 80, 90 bucks or more. These are very inexpensive. Easy to load. Uh, everything that you can say positive about it, uh, and no negatives in my opinion. They're well made, and they're indexed quite well. So Zabroya, they really got their act together on that. Um, eight shots in 25, 10 shots in 22. And uh, we'll be coming out with a 30 caliber version too. Not yet, but soon. Uh, I don't know how soon. Put your questions down below. Ask away. Um, I think that's everything I could show to you other than the fact that it has this little leather patch here uh, for your cheek rest. Fills up to 300 bar. Fills in here. So with that, I'm going to say take care. God bless. Thank you for watching the videos. Safe shooting. This is Joe Broncato, the Airgun Scientist in the Top Gun Dash Airguns Skunk Works Lab. Cheers.